In this video, we are going to show the given expression where u is log of x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. Now, first part, let's find dou u by dou x. That is partial derivative of u with respect to x. So, log differentiation is 1 by then whole term x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz then into derivative of x cube is 3x square and y cube and z cube are constant and coming to the last term minus 3yz is constant and derivative of x is 1. So totally we have in the numerator 3x square minus 3yz. In the same way we are going to do partial derivative with respect to y. So this is 1 by x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz then y cube derivative is 3y square then minus the term 3xyz derivative is the constants are 3xz and derivative of y is 1. Then in the same way let's find dou u by dou z. So this will give once again 1 by x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz into 3z square minus 3xy where the derivative of z is 1. Now we are going to add all the 3 that is dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y plus dou u by dou z. All the three terms are having the same denominator. So we are writing the common denominator x cube plus y cube plus z cube minus 3xyz. In the numerator, first term is 3x square minus 3yz. Then second term is 3y square minus 3xz. The third term is 3z square minus 3xy. Now from the numerator we can take 3 common then we get x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. Then the denominator term can be factorized. The factorization will give x plus y plus z into x square plus y square plus z square minus xy minus yz minus zx. Now the whole term in the numerator and this term in the denominator can be cancelled because they are same term. Now totally dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y plus dou u by dou z is nothing but 3 by x plus y plus z. In the question, in the left hand side, we have dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z whole square into u. So, let us take the LHS which is nothing but dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z whole square into u. Now this whole square can be written as dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z into one more time dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z into then finally u. Let's multiply this u inside. So this first term dou by dou x plus dou by dou y plus dou by dou z as it is. Then whole bracket. This u let's multiply with each term. So dou u by dou x plus dou u by dou y plus dou u by dou z. Now the value of 
do u by do x plus do u by do y plus do u by do z we found it as 3 by x plus y plus z so this we are going to substitute for the second term here so the first term as it is that is do by do x plus do by do y plus do by do z into 3 by x plus y plus z. So we have substituted the value of do u by do x plus do u by do y plus do u by do z as 3 by x plus y plus z. Now this entire term we are going to multiply with each. So first term is do by do x of 3 by x plus y plus z. It means partial derivative to of this term with respect to x. Second term is partial derivative of this entire term with respect to y. In the same way, we have to write the third term that is dou by dou z of 3 by x plus y plus z. Now first term partial derivative 3 by the denominator will be minus 3 by denominator square. So we are following the formula where the derivative of 1 by x is minus 1 by x square. So 3 is a constant. Apart from that 1 by x is minus 1 by x square form if I use I get minus 1 by x plus y plus z whole square. Then derivative of x is 1 in the numerator and y and z are 0. In the same way the second term is also minus 3 by x plus y plus z whole square. And in the same way the third term is minus 3 by x plus y plus z whole square. Now combining everything we get minus 9 by because the denominators are same. So we write one denominator and we add all the numerators together. So we got minus 9 by x plus y plus z whole square which is nothing but the right hand side of the equation. So we took the LHS and we got the RHS. Hence proved.